I got alcohol in my eyes. <laughs> I couldn't have timed that. There's, there's more, alcohol in the eyes. More perfectly. <laughs> Everything is blurry. I don't know where anything is. This was a mistake. <laughs> Could you not be more of a stereotype? <laughs> Everything's on fire. That was poor decision. Do poor you, de you want a tissue? You're right. <laughs> Is that gonna help? Is that gonna tissue my eyes out? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that wasn't good. This is Brad. I'm and coifing. Is, and this is the Traveling Brothers Cigar Review. <laughs> what are we smoking, Dave? What are we doing? How are we doing this? What are we smoking? Okay. Well, uh, well, you were complaining about it being a dry argument. Yeah, I'm parched. Okay. So what we're going to drink is... Blackened. It's uh, in honor of Black History Month. Oh, there you go. Blackened. So we just hold that up there for the camera because we've discovered Brad's B-roll skills are not great. Uh, uh, some feedback from Dave. Uh, they suck. <laughs> Do you want to tell us where you got this and how much it is? Liquor store. A bottle -o? I got it at the bungalow from Bungalow Bob. Uh, the bottle -o? So I got this from our local liquor store where his distributor brought this in and said, you have to try this bourbon. A blend of straight whiskeys finished in black brandy casks. And it is made in upstate New York. Right. So a local distributor to upstate New York, not to us, but you know, then again, upstate New York is only like it's four really, hours away. It's a really nice bottle, actually. We might have to put that into our glass cutting pile. Oh, yeah. Is this etched in? No, it's not. It's, uh, it's vinyl. sort of printed on. Mm, very nice. Nice color to it. But let's uh, see how she tastes. How come you got more than I did? Because uh, I poured. Cheers. Hey, cheers to you. Ah, oh, cheers. Mm. B-roll. That's the A-roll, isn't it? Wow. Mm, you meant to smell it before you go, but that's mm. nice. That's got no edge to it at all. No, that is that is incredibly smooth. Give me, give me that bottle. What is this? <laughs> it's blackened. <laughs> Thanks, dickhead. <laughs> Born and cast, forged by sound. Oh, I gotta look. We gotta look this up during one of our breaks. We gotta. I gotta figure this out. This is great. All right, we'll put it aside when we get part way into the cigar. Yeah, we'll stop and we'll have a little look, and maybe we'll have a chat to our podcast people about it. Oh yeah, stay tuned. And if you don't know. Now you know. We got a podcast and I want you guys to check yep. it out. Traveling Bros Cigars, just the same as it is on our YouTube channel, on wherever you get your podcast. There's only a couple up there at the moment, but we'll build. And basically smoking? it's why am, I, uh, why am I not smoking something? Basically it's the uh, less edited versions of what we're gonna do on YouTube. Live and uncut. That's very actually that's very good. Yeah, it was? Yeah, it was very yeah. good. It's very uh, sort of Steve Irvin ish. I tried. So what we have here is a Rest giveaway. Yeah. We haven't done one in a while. So we'll give you the details on how you win this with a cutter and a lighter. And then you can win Big Bird Cigar Case. And we'll give you... <laughs> this is actually a gift. A gift to us to give away from the Altidus rep who gave us the cigars that we're going to smoke. Well, who we got the cigars from that we're going to smoke tonight. We're, we're smoking an Altidus? We're smoking an H. Upman. The ode to Hispaniola, the H. Upman so Hispaniola. Just hold that out there like that for us there, Brad. And let everybody have a good look at it. Very cool. This is... H. Upman. This is going to be a special scar. Have you had this one before? I have not. Jose Menendez. Where? Menend? There's only one E on that part. Mendez. Oh, you're right. Well, I don't have my glasses on and I'm Slistexic. Slistexic. 
If you're not having sex, you should talk to your wife. <laughs> so we'll work out how you can win that and a lighter and a cutter um, and give you details at the end. I'm not waiting on you. You're not waiting? Okay, let's cut and light. Let's do that. I didn't get a... There we go. Let's reach over here. Like you just Off use, camera. You want to use mine? No, I'll use one of these. What's wrong with mine? This is a good one. This is not a good one? Well, they're both Zycar cutters, so they're both good. Look at that. Perfect cut. Incredible. And guess what? Hold on, hold on. Guess what? You have a new... I got a new toy. Tactical One lighter. Tactical. It even says tactical. So I got... we actually both have new Tactical One lighters. So we did a follow-up review on the Tactical can we, 3. Can we light her down? Yeah. Yeah. We did a review on the Tactical 3 from Zycar. And both Brad and I told you we actually didn't like it. And that we liked this one better. And the one we were using was actually your wife's, right? Yeah, you were, yeah you I were was using, using it. it. And you, you actually took it for since a weekend. That, since I took it for a weekend. <laughs> since that day, uh, we've both gone out and bought our own. So, what do, you, what do you call that? I call that being smart. Sipping your own Kool-Aid or something, what do they say? It's a, it's a saying like that, isn't it? You're, you're trying not to be hip. What? Oh, well, sorry about that. That's... Drinking your own Kool-Aid. Drinking the Kool-Aid, own Kool-Aid. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know American. This things. is the first time I'm using this letter. I, I I just got it in, and I used our link on Famous Smoke underneath, and I purchased it for thirty eight dollars on the auction site. Really, use the auction site. I did. A little upset because you got the gun metal because I wanted that, but this khaki one, I'm, I have no no regrets. No, no regrets. No regrets. No regrets. <laughs> and you know what? It just mm. it does the trick. There we go. Name that movie in the comments. No regrets. No regrets. What's the movie that that came from? That's how you're going to win your. You know who's. We should have another. We should have two questions. Name the movie with no regrets is in, and then we'll come up with something a bit later. Yes. Two questions. That's called coming up with it on the fly, mm. since we're doing sayings. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is a smoky one. Mm. Having a bit of trouble getting part of it lit. User error, because I got mine lit. I think it is user error. Well, I'll tell you a little bit about it while Dave figures out how to light a cigar, amateur. Um, this is a special release from H. Upman, and it was done in collaboration with Mr. Jose Mendez. Not Menendez. Yeah, Men Mendez. And he um, he grows and cultivates tobacco in the Dominican Republic. So, right. so it's, it's Dominican? It's the Dominican Pure? This is an ode to Hispaniola. And, and for those of you who don't know, like Dave, Hispaniola is an island in the Caribbean, and it houses what two countries? NFI. No, no fucking idea. Mm -hmm. You know you were a sailor, right? Yeah, but not in, not in this ocean. You know how it was a sailor. <laughs> a long fair enough. Fair, fair <laughs> what? A massive historical island. I mean, it it houses the Dominican Republic and, and Haiti. Oh, Haiti. Okay. Oh man, that's bad. Well, I have no idea. That's bad. I can't. Cuba is an old island. Be the keeper of all knowledge. You look like you're the keeper of all knowledge. <laughs> you'd think after 90 years you'd have picked up something. Oh. Anyways, it's the Ode de Hispaniola, which is the name of the island. I only know this because I am from Florida. And there's a large, very large Haitian and Dominican community down in Florida. And everyone, come, they all come from obviously that island of I Hispaniola. I love the way Haitian people speak. The French? I love their accent. The no, Creole? They yeah, uh, like we had a guy work with us. He was from Haiti, and I just loved the way he speaks. He was always so happy. I know, like all the curse words in in. in yeah, we don't want to know that. And I only I worked in restaurants in Florida, so I know. It's black, like, uh, all of them. you know, there's 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 certain accents that stick in your head. It's like Jamaica is one of them. Boomba Claude, <laughs> Rastafarian. And I suppose Haitian is a bit like that too, isn't it? No. No? No. Come on, give me a good Haitian. A good Haitian. Oh, go on, go on. Put you on the spot. 
I only do some Haitian. I can't. I can't you can only know because all right, we'll let you off the hook. in kitchen as well. What are you making of this cigar so far? I um. I know we just lit it, but right on light up, it's smooth, smooth Ooh, and creamy. Yeah. Smooth and creamy, like a lot of cigars, you light up and you go, and then you got to wait for your third or. Third yeah, or it's it's wet too, but this is not. This is smooth and creamy. It's wet. Like it's it's not dry. Not dry. It's smooth, and there is a sweetness to it, and I don't know where it's coming from. So this is a Dominican binder, and filler. And mm. it's a um, Sumatra wrapper. It does not have a dry finish. He says, looking across off camera to his wife, who likes cigars that don't have a dry finish. Why'd you say? Why'd you say that? Why's that? Why is that important? Well, because I'd like to get it to try different cigars, you know, because she smokes a lot of the sweets, a lot of the you know Isla del Sol. It's because you're because and... the witch is sweet. We're in the witch's layer, so I can say that. I said nothing. Well, you're the devil, and you have to be married to a witch. Actually, you know what? She watched our Valentine's Day gift thing <laughs> and, and, and did it for me, which was like they did the whole gift box idea that we put out on YouTube. And did you not love it? And I loved it. And in fact, uh, we might have a little drink of some of the whiskey later. Mm. She got me some Woodford Reserve, Ooh. and she got me a... And you're not going to like it, but she got me a Padron 45. What? Well, I like it. And uh, some Toblerone Dark. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. Hey, Dave, what'd you, uh, what'd you get your wife for Valentine's Day? Macaroons. Ooh. At about 8 o'clock at night. <laughs> <laughs> After she told me to go and get some milk. <laughs> it counted. It was on Valentine's Day. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I you did. wanted them fresh. They were fresh. It had to be fresh. They were after fresh. dinner. Yeah. After dinner. Fresh after dinner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have to say thank you, and I'll say it on, on live on camera. You uh, you definitely came through for me yesterday, and I appreciate it. I, I needed some, some help holding a ladder as I went 30 feet in the air. And... Um, I gotta, gotta thank you. The commentary before I got on that ladder was so perfect and just making me comfortable on getting on that ladder. Uh huh. Yeah. Like, do you think it's strong enough? Yeah. And it wobbles a lot. Yeah, it wobbles. <laughs> Man, let me just let me lean it against the downspout of your house because the one screw that holds that in was definitely holding my weight up there. Hey, you're alive. Barely. <laughs> I like it's what you what you're lucky you didn't hear your neighbors' comments. Because oh. he was over there and he's down he's the bottom of the ladder going. Hey, Nader. <laughs> uh, shout out to Nader. He watches our, 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 our channel. He's the coolest neighbor ever. He's a chef too. Incredible chef. Mm. Him and his wife are classically French trained chefs. So if you want those macaroons. Well, really? Macaroons? Oh, yeah. They, they, everything they make is incredible. Next, Love time, next time I'll put an order in with Nader. Well, his wife. Lily's Bakery. So, tell us a little bit about... Now, we said H. Upman. Yeah. And then we said Altidus. That's the, the, the owner of the brand. And we said the Altidus rep, Taven, who gave us this to give away. Taven's given us so much. He's an Davis incredible rep. He's a, he's, a, he's a lovely rep. You know, Knowledgeable, we, too. We smoke a lot more of Altidus cigars than you might think. Well, that's what I was going to say. Is What else does Altidus... Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet. What else? Uh, the entire H. Upman brand. The Connecticut, which has been in a couple of our videos. Mm -hmm. That beautiful Connecticut with the Maduro tip on it. Mm -hmm. The Trinidad Espiritus. Yes, absolutely. Um, they have the Banker from H. Upman. They have the Hispaniola. They have that blue label one. That mm. I Maybe we should get Taven in for a video one day. Oh, I think that would be great. Taven loves the talk. Taven, yell out to us if he does. We'd have to probably put him on the podcast and... Cut yeah, YouTube no. right but he's there. got so many stories. Like he's he's been around this industry for a long time, and um, his training classes when I worked at my the local cigar lounge have been were incredible. Mm -hmm. Like he did, he just does a great job. He's a great dude. A little nutty. This is nice. Great. I haven't had this one before, and this is very nice. It's a little bit sweet, like you said, woody. I would go. Oh, how much? 
How much? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? If a woodchuck could chuck wood, a woodchuck would chuck a lot of wood. You know, I asked Siri that earlier, and she said, it "Depends on if it's an Eastern or European woodchuck." Just oh, that's the second thing. Eastern or European? Was it? Is it an Eastern or European sparrow? Ooh. What's that movie from? Two movie quotes. You got to two find. movie quotes. You must comment below. How much wood could a woodchuck? No, no, no. So it's uh, is it an Eastern or European, European sparrow? sparrow? And uh, and the other one, if you were paying attention, you already know. I don't have to remember it. What was it? You don't remember. Do I you? don't remember already. Neither do I. You'll have to go back and find the other question. Hmm. Yeah, what was it? Mm. Oh. Bourbon. Ah. How many are you in already? No, this. Oh, tonight. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. You forgot we were filming tonight. That's what happened. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I was a little bit unprepared. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, fun fact about H. Upman that I did. I wasn't as quaffed as you are. Queefed. This is a family show. You talking about <laughs> queefing is not appropriate. Not queefing. Not, I'm putting my finger down. Not loudly, but I'm putting my finger down very softly. <laughs> we will not queef on you, this show. You know what it means because you looked it up. Because I, I said coiffed. You look very coiffed. Mm. I said your beard looks very coiffed. Thank you for the beard. And you, you, when you looked it up, you finally corrected me and said it's actually quaffed. Quaffed. I, I Not quaffed. <laughs> That's a different thing altogether. Um, maybe you can... Never mind. Never so, mind. I pride myself on a good beard. I bought a beard straightener. What? A beard straightener. I didn't know there was such a thing. Cindy, one of our good friends who's a wonderful hairstylist, gave me some heat protectant for my beard which is the thing i didn't even know existed and then i bought a beard straightener so i can straighten my beard really yeah totally do it it's like a it's like a it's like a like, a, like, like burn you like no it's got like it's like a comb thing like, like protects comb me. thing yeah it's it's great yeah yeah hmm. that's very majestic oh yes thank you i am a majestic creature <laughs> bullshit 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 yeah. all right well look we're going to smoke this a little bit more and come back to you uh, on YouTube with a few... Uh, see how it changes. A few... Ch yeah, see what, see what changes. Yeah. 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 But we're just going to keep waffling on for those in the podcast that want to continue listening to us waffling. You're making waffles? Waffles. Waffling. We know this. Waffling on. And we're back. Welcome back, everybody. Traveling brothers and sisters. So we're just waffling on on the podcast... And yeah. we got to a point where we're talking about this cigar and Brad wanted to say something particular that everybody gets to hear, not just those people listening on the podcast. So you know my wife is like your wife, likes the sweet stuff, right? Yeah. I, with the help of Dwayne, if you watch our other videos, you know who Dwayne is. We talk yeah. about him a lot. Dwayne recommended, I did like a, uh, a 20 cigar pack for my wife. I remember that. For and her Dwayne birthday. Dwayne gave her a little rundown yeah, on every her. cigar. This guy yeah. literally did a video for every cigar. And again, local, local. Oh, he did an actual video. Yeah, a local lounge. Very cool. Yeah, that's why you, you go to your local lounge. Very good friend of mine who's the assistant manager at our local lounge. Mm -hmm. I asked him, hey, walk me through and pick out 20 cigars my wife would like outside of her comfort zone. And he totally hooked it up. We went through, he picked out the 20 cigars, and then to put the icing on the cake, he did a video running down each cigar that she can watch each time she smokes, so she knows why she likes it. So when she comes back, she can tell him. Yeah. And he can put her in the right direction. Yeah, yeah I like that. This one. cigar was in that pack. Oh, really? And my wife... Well, did she like it? Because I she think she did. would like this. She yeah. did. Yeah. This is this is very smooth. We're we're halfway into it now, so we're well into the second third, and um, sweet and creamy, sweet, sweet and creamy, woody. Smooth. It's got a woodiness to it, smooth. but easy. Yeah, easy. Draws like just, great. Burns it would good. it would make a good noob cigar. This is this this would make a good noob cigar. Put the boob stamp on it. Yeah, yeah. Triple D boob stamp. So I I would have the bouncy bouncy bouncy. Boom. This is motorboat worthy. Did I go too far? <laughs> We're not talking about your penis. <laughs> so, 
Anyways. We were just saying uh, earlier that I've just finished a cigar, which is one of my favourites, and it just wasn't going well. And I really, when Brad turned up to do the video here in the Witch's Lair, I really didn't want to go and smoke another cigar. And mm. I'm really enjoying this. You guys are really pulling your leg. I was like, let's smoke this. And you're like, okay. Well, I had the grumpy face on when I said it. What's that look like? It's the same face. It's always grumpy. I have really bad resting bitch face. <laughs> you know what everyone tells me? I have resting murder face. Resting murder face? Yeah, I can see that. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> it's my concentration face. Mm. Ashley, I'll have to send you a picture that you put into the video. I'll have to send it to you. My murder face. It was caught on a photo. We were downtown in D.C., and we were going to one of the Smithsonian's. We were taking one of our Florida friends around with us. And we were taking a picture. And I was taking a picture with her. And then, you know, if anyone's been to D.C., there's a large homeless problem in D.C. Yeah, but it's, yeah. Yeah, there is. There's a large homeless yeah, problem. Yeah, there's a large homeless problem. And I was there, and one of the... They sort of keep it to certain areas. Oh, it was definitely... Um, there was somebody who was... they sort of keep DC like it's a, a stage no, show no, where they keep no. the stage looking nice, no, but then no. they push everything else off to the sides? No, definitely. Oh, I do. I think no. so. So there was, a, like, there was like a thing going on. Like there was a thing going on and I got into protection mode. You know, like I was listening and seeing what was going on around my surroundings and that they caught me in that mode where I wasn't focused on my face or smiling. I was just focused on who am I killing? <laughs> and they caught that protection mode I went to protection mode it's a good thing to have I was with two young ladies and I was I felt this, this situation you gotta was, keep your awareness about you gotta keep I, your wits about it it is my job to make sure the people with us were safe and yeah. I did not feel safe in that moment yeah no that's what you gotta do you, got, you know that from the, the motorcycle club too mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. like you gotta just keep your eyes your ears you made open. mention to that mm. that I I, I get very aware, hyper aware. Hyper so aware. It's good. It's very good. It's a, you good, have it's to a be. good skill to have. And it doesn't mean it doesn't mean you've got to be scared. No. It's not about being scared. No. So I, I teach when I teach martial arts, I teach students their spatial awareness. Mm -hmm. I also teach them to do things like look in reflections of yep. shop of shop windows and stuff, like doors and shop windows and stuff to see what's behind them. Um, they're just not good people to be aware it's, we, in, a, in, in the Japanese they're called zanshin it's your Ooh. it's your awareness your zanshin yeah. and, uh, and uh, often people say well are you teaching me to be scared no teaching you to be aware yeah yeah you gotta the, th the things we teach people in martial arts is recognize avoid defend rad recognize rad, rad. not brad rad Radical, yeah, rad. Recognize, avoid, defend. Recognize danger, avoid it if you can. Defend yourself if you have to. Yeah, that's the, the yeah. premise of, of good martial <clears throat> arts. And right on you for teaching your students that. But I, I just, I, I work in the security industry. That's what I do in my daytime. And I find myself more aware than most. You know, Paul, Paul Blart, safety never takes a holiday, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm very aware <clears throat> of what's going on in my surroundings. And when I have other people with me, I'm even more aware of what's going on. Because I'm not only looking out for myself, I'm looking out for everyone else. Because you're a caretaker. Yeah. Are you, or would you fancy yourself as one as well? Well, they call me the devil. Well, that, that's because what you do to people. Don't find out why he's the devil. I'm not going to bring it up again. So, I get the feeling this cigar is not going to change a lot from here. No, this is... It's... Very Dominican. Been very Dominican, yeah. So, you know, so we say that um, a lot of your really complex sort of flavours and cigars seem to come from Nicaragua, like craft yep. beer from Nicaragua, normal lagers and pilsners and ales from... This is your, no this is your normal Budweiser. I wouldn't call it a Budweiser. That'd underrate the cigar. This is a great cigar. I mean, I know a lot of people like Budweiser, but... Do you like Budweiser? I drink it occasionally. Can I ask you a question? You just did. I didn't have a choice. Shit. They did it again. Mm. Do you not like anything non-alcoholic? I mean, for me, if someone hands me a beer, 
Even if it's a Pat's Blue Ribbon, I'm drinking it. Oh, no, no. There's definitely drinks that I don't like to drink. Would you... If there's nothing there's definitely else to beers, drink. Like, a lot of the IPAs, actually, I don't like IPAs. I got to turn it on. <clears> you had an IPA the other night you liked. Very few IPAs. On Super Bowl Sunday, I got you to drink an IPA. Was that a, that was a cigar brew? Yeah, it was Cigar City. It was their Maduro. Right, we've got some of that out there. I still haven't touched it from when you left it here. Oh, maybe we do that in the next video. Yeah, maybe. Or we could do Woodford. Wait, what is it? Liquor before beer, you've never been sicker. No, okay, we screwed up. Beer mm -hmm. before liquor, you're in the clear. Uh -huh. Yeah. Do you care? Uh -huh. I don't care. You can, ha you can handle. I can hang. Well, A. Chapman... I like this cigar. And it's pairing beautifully. And it is pairing beautifully with the blackened. It's the smoking in it. I think it's the um, smoky... Well, the blackened is a is a, is a brandy cask finished whiskey. Yeah, I'm um, liking it. I think that's in shot there. Um, and it's, uh, it's actually very smooth. And it's going really nicely with this cigar. Another sub $50 bourbon. Yeah. And not in a small bottle either, is it? 750 mil, so it's, you know. Yeah, great. Yeah. So look, I'm, uh, I'm going to call an end to this cigar. I could agree more. I'm going to put it on the noob list. Agreed. A boob. It's a boob. And, um, and again, I don't want to take anything away from the boob list. Because those well, are cigars that we love. But we feel as though... Well, we didn't like it. We wouldn't put it on the noob list. I couldn't agree more. But I feel it's so it's worthy. Well, it's an anybody new, cigar. It's an anybody cigar. It's an anybody cigar. Yeah. Um, That's a good way to put that. See, I had I had I had a cigar the other night. I'm trying to think of what it was, and I just I just felt like I was smoking nothing. Like I was I smoked that whole cigar, and there was just nothing. I might as well have been sucking on a tube. With nothing in it. <laughs> we can suck a golf ball through a garden hole. <laughs> name was, that movie. It was nothing, and it was a. It, and it, I'll, I'll get it out to, uh, as a name later. But it was a popular, popular brand, and I hadn't had one before of that particular type. I want to say it was a fifty-four. A Tura hmm. Fuente fifty-four. Oh yeah, you were telling me about 50, that. Yeah, a Tura Fuente. You had it at the Is lounge, right? A Tura Fuente fifty-four. Yeah, Fuente. Yeah. Yeah, and and it was just nothing. I'm not okay. And we talk about see, this. This is a nice, smooth cigar, but there's flavor to it. Yeah, it's there's it's, something there. There's I think it's simple uh, but complex. Yeah. yeah, it rides both sides of the rails. Mm. I I have this cigar in my humidor at all the times because it's one of those where I got to be in the mood for it. But when I am, I, it's there, and I, I go to I, I keep going back to it. Great job, HM. yeah. I reckon this would pair with quite a few different things. This would pair with beer as well. Yeah, this is an all. This is. A, I, this, I'm going to come back to this one in summer. Oh yeah, yeah. When we're out riding, ooh, because it's not leaving a, a a real aftertaste in my mouth either. The finish is very very clean, it's a very clean finish. I really like it. I I don't traditionally have a lot of H Upman in my humidor. I've got some Espiritus there. Um, because you bought all of them that they had. Well, Taven did me a deal. I couldn't. Say no to. You made you an offer you could not refuse. <laughs> he did. <laughs> you were closing out. You want to send us off? I'm sorry, we're closing out. That's right. All right, H. Chapman. What's it called? Española. Española. Good cigar. Great for a noob. Nice, easy, refreshing. Clean palate. Uh, clean finish on the palate. Anything else to add? Just remember to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. That's all from me. And that's all from me. Catch you later.